Hey my beautiful Pisces peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Anne from Cancerman's Tarot and I'm coming at you with your April 2023 tarot reading. How are you? Hope all is well. Just want to mention before we start, if you're interested in personal services, products, and so much more, feel free to check out my website, cancermanstarot.com. It's going to be the first link in the description below. Nonetheless though here, Pisces, let's jump on into it. For April, we're doing things a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and start out this reading with a freestyle reading first, kind of like whatever comes up, comes up, and then we'll go ahead and do something more structurized where it'll be the overall energy past present future then we'll tie out the reading with an overall outcome okay but nonetheless though Pisces let's roll on into it and take a look and see what's up what does Pisces need to hear what's going on with Pisces Sun Moon Rising Venus throughout April 2023 what information is gonna be rolling on in here for the fish what do we got showing up Pisces First card out is going to be the star card, so you could be connecting with an Aquarius for a few of you. Star energy showing up, though, you're definitely starting to feel like you're in your flow, is what I'm hearing for many of you. So you've kind of reached this flow state where you're doing something, it's been consistent, you're keeping up with it, but it feels natural. When you're in the flow, you can do things effortlessly. And I think that that's the beauty about being in the flow, because it doesn't feel challenging, it doesn't feel hard. It's like I'm doing what I need to do, and I'm getting things done, and everything feels incredibly seamless. So whether this is about being in the flow in regards to work, being in the flow in a relationship, being in the flow with kind of like a routine that's been super healthy, uh, healthy, excuse me. Some of you Pisceans might notice coming into April that like your health regimen or like anything you're doing for self-care tends to become more prominent and it's really, really working for you super well. Um, this is about possibly getting in a good gym routine, getting in a good routine for mental health and preparing yourself for something or maybe a good routine and prep for work. It's like there's just um, a really good flow state I feel coming in here for many of you where you feel just super in the flow everything is good everything is effortless and everything is stable right we got here a knight of pentacles that card of stability so things are definitely becoming pretty comfortable for you and in a way, right, I always talk about this. I always say that comfortability is the number one growth killer. But at the same time, it's nice to be comfortable for a little bit. You know, we all deserve to be comfortable for a little bit of like a little bit of time for a while. But then inevitably, we got to get out of our comfort zone so that we can experience growth. So it does look like you're moving to a bit of a comfortable place here, Pisces. You know, we got here the two of pentacles. We have here the king of wands. And then lastly, we have here the hermit. Yeah, I think you kind of had two choices here, Pisces. You know, you saw two ways or two situations that you could have been invested in that you could have been giving your energy to one of those pentacles in the two of pentacles was representing. OK, well, I can keep on doing the same routine that I don't really enjoy or that isn't really serving me or keep doing the same things in my life that are bringing me the same continuous negative results and get those negative results or I can switch things up. And I feel like that's what you chose to do. Hermit card here, King of Wands. You switched up what you've been doing with your energy. So you're making a different investment this month. Look, Ace of Wands, the card about embracing new beginnings and new structures. Nine of Cups, it's been a very fulfilling time. So I think that coming into April here for Pisceans, you're really going to switch things up. Maybe you're going to switch up how you look and perceive your job. And you're going to switch up your regimen within your work. Maybe you're switching up your regimen in regards to your mental health. Maybe it's more about your physical health. But overall, you're just getting to a place here coming into April where you find a flow state that works for you, that brings in positive energy. It is something that's effortless, something you're naturally very good at doing, something that naturally works for you. You're figuring out what that flow is and you're aligning with it. And once you align with it, it's nice because what you're abandoning is you're abandoning doing that same thing that always brought in negative results. And the more you kept doing it, the more you kept getting those results that were disappointing. So you're cutting out this situation or this old routine these old habitual energies that don't serve you and you're really falling into this flow that really aligns with you quite well so i like it pisces i really do cool all right guys let's go ahead and move on into your official read here and uh we'll see what we got going on what do we got showing up here for the zodiac sign of pisces sun moon rising venus throughout april 2023 what information showing up here for pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout April 2023. All right, Team Pisces, let's go ahead and get on into it, and we'll see what's going on with you. Starting out with the overall energy of April, we begin April here with the Ten of Wands. Yep, so definitely already showed in the pre-shuffle or the uh, freestyle reading, if you will, that there's going to be quite a transformation. Ten of Wands coming in here. That is a card of being very burdened. It could be the card of feeling very overwhelmed. There's a lot of weight on your shoulders. You know, you're kind of coming into this month just feeling like, man, shit is heavy. Maybe the energy's been heavy. Some of you guys could have been involved in some really, really intense and 
you know, rough kind of situations energetically that have just been weighing you very much so down. So for some Pisces, you might have a lot of um, energetic weight instead of any sort of, um, you know, physical weight or emotional weight as well. Uh, taking a look here into your past, Page of Pentacles here, Seven of Swords. We got here the Knight of Swords, and then we also have here the Ace of Wands. So when I look inside your past here, Pisces, it definitely kind of feels to me that you were in a space where you were trying to make your new beginning happen. Page of Pentacles here to the Seven of Swords. Page of Pentacles is like getting your foot in the door. So it's the energy of getting started. So you try to get started on something. Maybe in the past, you try to get started on a business. You try to get started on a project. You try to get started on a relationship with somebody. And once you got started, I feel like a lot of feelings of doubt kind of crept in. You know, we got here the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is the energy of deception. Now, if it's not a person who physically deceived you or somebody who instilled and reinforced doubt within you. It could just be self-doubt that really came up for many of you. And I think that you tried to rise above it with the Knight of Swords, but it was almost like no matter how much I try to tell myself that what I'm doing is going to work out, it's not working out here. And you were trying to wonder what is it that's keeping me from this new beginning? Now, we can brainwash ourselves essentially, right? I think that we can brainwash ourselves as much as we want to. We can tell ourselves we're X, Y, and Z, but we also have to make sure that we follow up with those words. We, fo we have to make sure, excuse me, we follow up with action. Now, that's one of the biggest things that's super important about brainwashing yourself or, you know, changing the way you think or changing your perception. You know, it's very easy to change your perception. You can go from being in a perception of saying I'm not successful to being in a perception of saying I am successful because this is who I'm choosing to be right here, right now. But if you're not following up that perception with action in your life, it's going to be very hard to see that alignment come in. You might see a little bit success, but are you going to maximize your success with just brainwashing or are you going to maximize your success with not only just telling yourself that you're doing X, Y, Z in life, but actually taking action to do it? For example, let's say that you want to make more money. You want to be a person that has their own business. You know, you can believe that you are a person that has their own business and makes a lot of money. But if you're not taking action, starting that business, getting into marketing, learning about your business, learning about your niche, doing what you can to get people in the business to maybe possibly work with you, invest in you. If you're not taking that action, it doesn't matter what you say you are doing. If you're not bringing that action with it, nothing's coming from it. So I kind of feel like in a way that was something very similar to what you experienced in your past. And keep in mind, this probably isn't about business for most of you guys that are watching. That was just an example. You know, maybe you said in the past, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to be fit. I'm going to feel really happy with myself, feel really confident. And you said all these things, but you never went to the gym. Or maybe you went to the gym, but you stopped going. Maybe you got demotivated. Maybe you went and had the intent to go five days a week, but you only went two. And you didn't get the results you wanted over time. And keep in mind, for anybody that's even thinking about going through a body transformation, always remember, it's not about how quick we can get the results. It's about how consistent we can be. Because over time, you're going to get that body or your dreams anyways. So it's not about how quick you get those results. It's about how committed will you be? How devoted will you be? Will you show up day in and day out? So I feel for Pisces, like your past here was about definitely trying your best to believe in yourself. But I feel like the action wasn't followed through. And if there was action, it doesn't feel like it was in the right direction. It's almost like you were taking action, but there was a better way you could have gone about it. You know, so I see that showing up here so far regarding your past. OK, taking a look here into the present for April. We got a four of wands. We have here the hangman. We also have here the death card. Awesome. And we have here the nine of cups. Yeah, April's an entirely different energy than in comparison to your past. You know, this resonates a lot more with the freestyle reading we just spoke about. So four of wands here. Hangman. Hangman is a Pisces card, but it's also a card of feeling stuck. So like if you felt stuck in your life and felt like nothing's really going anywhere, you know, you're about to see that shift here with the death card. Death card is all about change and transformation. So Pisceans, you're not going to be stuck coming in April. You know, I think that as well as, you know, for any piting, uh, any piting, any Pisces, excuse me, that have been burdened, you're not going to be so burdened as well coming into April moving forward because you're letting go of that weight. So four of wands, right? Four of wands here is a card that represents a lot of stability, having a good environment. This also could be the card, too, of like having good role models. Uh, some of you guys in April might start looking at people as role models in your life, whether those are people within your family sector, your friend sector, even your romantic partners. But this is more than likely like maybe you find somebody on the Internet you really resonate with what they pro what they preach, what they practice. Uh, you know, you could be finding um, a motivational speaker you really like or just somebody who you might feel inspires you and motivates you. Uh, so you might be falling into alignment with that for a few of you as well. Nonetheless, though, for one showing up here, it is a card of stability, you know, being comfortable in your environment, being comfortable with, with what you're doing. So like I said, I feel like you're finding the um, 
the routine that works for you here coming into April, I'm hearing the secret sauce. <laughs> That's really weird, but you're finding the secret sauce, you know, the perfect uh, flow state to really achieve what you want here. You know, whether it's that flow state of going to the gym and, you know, you're in the flow, it feels great. You know, you're doing the regimen the right way that works for you. Um, you're making money in your business because you're in the flow right now when it comes to your business and you're doing what works for you in business. It's like you're figuring things out. You're figuring out what works for you. Definitely in comparison of the past because in the past you were trying to do what you wanted but it wasn't working out now you have this flow state and it's carrying you very far nine of cups a lot of fulfillment here very happy with the way things are working out very happy with the success so I'm proud of that Pisces and I'm proud of you and I'm happy to see that for you because you know it's not easy all the time to always get in a state of flow essentially you know we can be uh, stuck in these states of um how do I say it here it's almost like these states of where everything is just resistant. That's what I'm looking for. Like these states of resistance where it doesn't matter how hard we try. It just feels like it never works out. And when we get stuck in those energies of resistance, that's when we have to let go of the way we're doing things and take a different approach. And I feel like that's one of the biggest realizations you're having here too in April. It's like there's a lot of resistance showing up here. I can't keep doing the same thing because if I'm doing the same thing and I'm getting results I don't like then I got to stop doing it because the more I keep doing the same thing, the more I'm going to get the same results, right? You're never going to do the same thing and get different results. You're always going to get the same results you've been receiving. So Piscean, for you, it's like, okay, this ain't freaking working. So it's, it's time to switch up how I'm doing it. You know, I think a lot of people get very easily deterred too, by the way when they try to make something happen, maybe they try to go to the gym and get their dream body. They try to, you know, start that dream business and, you know, start making money, turn a profit on it. And it's like, they try it one way. That way doesn't work out. They try it a million other times, the same exact way. They fail a million more times and then they give up. But like, they never looked at taking a different approach. Taking a different approach is incredibly powerful and it's super powerful because that different approach, that next approach you take might just be the perfect one. So don't give up, just take a different approach, you know, and I think that's exactly where you're at here for sure. Now hopping on into the future for you, Pisces, let's take a look into your future. All right, we got here the two of swords, we have here the world card, we have here the king of wands, and we have here the two of wands showing up as well. So two twos over here, two of swords, two of wands. Now these two cards are a little bit different, two of swords is the energy of being in an indecisive place. Now, you're not going to be indecisive because like I said, you're figuring it out here in April. So what happens here, the world card, a whole new world Pisces is being created in your life. You are going to recognize that the way you're succeeding now and whatever you're dealing with now, maybe you are succeeding in work, you're succeeding in your personal goals, you're thriving in uh, love and relationships. You know, it's a lot of success in comparison to what you previously dealt with and it feels like you've entered a whole new world because you've been so used to things not going in your favor you've been so used to things not working out for you and now that they are you're like holy shit this really feels like i've entered a whole new world so that's cool i like that king of wands you're gonna have a lot of interests i feel that are coming in here for you the path you're on now is just the tip of the iceberg is what I feel for Pisces. And that's something that I want to tell you about in reference to your future. You know, don't think that, uh, you know, you're in this, you're in this uh, flow state now and everything's going great. Don't think that that's the end of it. You know, it's not the end. You're at the tip of the iceberg is what I hear for Pisceans. More doorways are about to open up for you here with the two of wands. Uh, so don't try to look at the success you have now as the end all be all success. There's still more growth to have. There's still more growth to see, get more attained in your life, or there's still more growth to attain in your life going forward. So you're at the tip of the iceberg okay is what i want to tell you here at this time cool all right so let's get some clarifiers here i want to take a look here at that ten of wands so clarifying the ten of wands we have here the justice absolutely so you know you might come in the month of april feeling pretty worn out feeling like you have a lot of energy on your shoulders a lot of weight on your shoulders but then poof here comes in the balance with the justice card because like i said you're getting in that free float state where things are working for you you know you're moving away here from the five of cups you're moving away here from disappointment and you're starting to see there's a different way you know this is what i love so much about the five of cups the five of cups here shows three cups that are knocked over now the three cups in the tarot they represent joy so when a person loses joy what do they tend to do? They tend to focus on the joy they've lost. And that's very much so depicted here in the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups here depicts this woman who's very upset that she's lost everything that brought her joy. But what she doesn't realize is that two cups right behind her are still left standing, which means that there's more joy out there to attain. So Pisces, this is pretty much kind of referencing that you were trying, a, you were trying something one way that wasn't working. Guess what? There was a better way and you're finding that better way. 
right with that five of cups so it goes back to what i was mentioning here right of don't keep taking the path of resistance take the path of least resistance whatever works whatever feels right temperance card that's the direction you want to go in so yeah pisces you're really having a big transformative energy here where you're moving from being very burdened to having that burden lifted you know you feel much lighter here coming into uh april and coming near the end of april as well you're much lighter energetically here you don't have anything weighing you down you're like whoo everything feels pretty damn good so i like the flow i like this new routine i like uh things working in your favor because you've taken a different approach it's it's really cool pisces looking at the overall outcome for you guys seven of wands to the eight of cups resistance cleared beautiful because seven of wands is the card of resistance in the tarot now you got here the eight of cups the card of walking away what are you walking away from you're walking away from the resistance so resistance is cleared so there's nothing that's standing in front of you right now or standing in the way of you if you will everything here seems like it's a clear uh path to get to where you want to go sweet Pisces. I really like this for you guys. This is a good ass reading. So guys, yeah, with that being said, I don't really feel like there's much more to add. I mean, is there any other messages that Pisces might need to hear regarding April, 2023? Let's take a look. We got the six of cups. We have here the king of cups and we have here the five of swords. Yeah. You know, in reference to your past, you experienced a lot of resistance, but at the end of the day, you are finding something that finally works for you. You know, I think right now, one of the best things you can do Pisces is be very mindful of always checking in with your emotions. And what I mean by this is always check in on if you're feeling resistance with what you're doing. Because if you're feeling resistance with what it is you're doing, it doesn't mean don't go down that path or that road. It just means take a different approach. So if you ever feel resistance again moving forward, if you feel like you're falling out of the flow state, just remember, don't place too much importance on what it is you're trying to receive, because that's one thing that's really important to talk about, kind of more of what we put on a pedestal, more of what we deem important in our lives tends to become something we try to overachieve on. And then when we're in the energy of overachieving, we kind of get to that point where we create resistance because we want something really, really bad. And if we want something really, really bad, we usually repel it right? In terms of law of attraction, if you watch me, you guys have definitely heard me talk about this kind of phenomenon before. So if you're a Pisces right now, I feel like the best way I can go about this and the best advice I can give you is in April, 2023, enjoy this flow state. Don't place importance on what you're doing. If you're having success, congratulate yourself, be proud of yourself, but don't obsess over the success. Know that you earned it and know that it's your birthright to be successful in this world. Know that you deserve it and with that being said, you don't have to kind of look at the success and be worried about losing it or be worried about needing or having to attain more. Know that you're abundant already. All right. That's something very important I want to mention here for Pisces because I see it happen very often and I don't want this to happen to you. I see when people get in flow states. Everything feels awesome. Everything feels amazing. They're super happy. They're ecstatic. They feel like they're at a peak in their life. And then they have the smallest plateau. And what happens is they start to obsess about getting back to where they were before, getting back to that flow state, getting back to that success, wishing they can get that and get more, right? So my advice is, is don't attach yourself to the success you're receiving here, jumping into the month of April, ride it out, enjoy the flow state. You might find yourself in a place of resistance again. If you do, take a different approach and then you'll get back to a flow state again. Enjoy yourself, enjoy what's happening here in April, but don't obsess over it. Just know that you are meant to be abundant and this abundance you're receiving is well-deserved, okay? All right, Pisces, that would be my advisory there, but I love it though. I mean, regardless, that outcome, right? Really cool, seven of wands here, eight of cups. You know, resistance is being cleared. It's like, we're on the path, baby. We're getting to where we need to go, you know? So really love that here for you, Pisces. But nonetheless, guys, thank you so much for tuning on in to your April 2023 tarot reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. If it resonates, do let me know down in the comment section below. If you're new here and you're interested in subscribing, I'd be happy to have you. Feel free to subscribe. I'd be more than happy to welcome you here into the Soul Family. And once again, if you are interested in personal readings, products, so much more, check the link in the description below to my website, and I'd love to meet you over there as well. By the way, Carol, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate appreciate that. But guys, have a lovely day. Have a great April and I'll see you all in the next video. Much love Pisces and have yourselves a good one. Peace.